the only other the other uh, factor is psychotropic drugs. Yep. And these are two things that no one wants to talk about. That's correct. And they're both real, and they're yes. both facts. And why is it that you think that these are they're they're obvious facts that people want to ignore? Because you they don't actually want to fix the problem. Right? If you fix the problem, then you don't have controversy. If you don't have controversy, you don't have a left versus right paradigm. Do you, you really have think have that's it. what it is? Yes. They, they, first off, they don't want to touch the they, they don't want to fix the problem. If you want to fix the problem of school shootings, right? There's two things to remember. As I as you've heard me say before, the school shooting, while it is a murder, at its core, it's actually a public suicide. And people don't understand that at, at its core, most mass shootings are public suicides. They would understand that. It's true. It's like death by cop, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's public suicide. So you have to make sure you have happier people, right? But then why do they, school, uh, why do they choose schools? Several reasons. One, because that's where their, their assumed enemies are, right? The incels think that the guys, the bad guys and the bad girls are there. But something else, they're soft targets. The other thing you remember from all these school shootings is they're planned. And that's a critical aspect. You want to stop school shooting? In New York State, you don't have to pass one extra law at all. You have to do one minor thing and one thing only. And that is say, if you are a licensed uh, if you're licensed and you have a permit to carry a firearm, if you want to in school, you may. If you're a teacher or an administrator, if you want to, you may. That's it. You don't have to force a teacher to carry. You don't need a resource officer. Why? Because if you have a resource officer, which is what most Republicans will say, put, put an officer there, they'll just shoot him first. If you follow Democrats, no guns. They'll shoot everybody. So if you instead say, well, I don't know who's armed. Is it an administrator? Is it a teacher? Is it everybody? Is it nobody? The planning goes away. Once there's no planning available, the school is no longer a soft target. They stop choosing the school. Okay, let me back. Let's unpack this. So you're saying that if you have an officer on the school that carries a gun yep. and this person knows that officer has a gun, they will shoot him first. Correct. And that if just teachers are carrying guns, there's no way this person knows, and so they're less likely to shoot people. They're less. There's two things. If, if you Here's the core of it. What's killing our children? It's not firearms. The, the One of the, I think it was a Texas shooting, I think it was, before he stole the guns, he had put together uh, and set up pipe bombs and pressure cooker bombs in case he couldn't steal the guns. So if he couldn't get guns, he was going to kill people anyway. The, the, the key thing here is what's killing p these kids? Lack of community, lack of purpose, and loneliness. That's what's killing our kids, those three things. Take those three things away. Kids don't do that. You give a kid who's 16, 17, 18 purpose, he can't go off and kill people. He has something to do. He has a reason to live. Remember, this is a public suicide. If you have a reason to live and you think the right answer is to go do something, you don't kill yourself. If you don't kill yourself, there's no public suicide. Mass shootings all of a sudden are tremendously reduced. It's just how it works. It's human nature. You have to understand that. But if you do that, then there's no extra law. Then there's no one to point a finger at. You can't restrict guns. See, what I'm saying just I, makes actual sense. This is where you and I break company because I don't agree with that. I don't think that anyone is trying to keep these school shootings in the same state they are now. I think that there's two things. One, no one wants to demonize psychotropic drugs, and especially politicians. They have a really hard time with that sure. because they don't want to tell people who are on psychotropic drugs that they're either suspects mm -hmm. or suspicious or potential mass shooters. I, New York State showing you it's, it's incorrect. I'm, I'm, we made the SAFE Act, and the SAFE Act literally says if you go on these drugs, you lose your firearm. So mm -hmm. that's absolutely not true in New York State. It may be true in California. I don't know your laws here. But in New York State, the opposite is true. We've, we've already done that. We have made our medical personnel part of our secret state police, which means if you go in and say, um, you know, I'm feeling depressed, I need some drugs, I'm thinking about suicide, the state police might come by and take your firearms. That's already happening in New York State. Mm -hmm. And they now want to create red flag laws, which means a teacher can now do it. So now a teacher says, oh, there's a student who I see drew a firearm, he drew a gun, cops and robbers. Maybe a red flag. Let me go to a judge and see if I can have the cops go and take his father's firearm. I definitely want to talk about this, but yes. I want to bring it back to what you said earlier. You don't think they want to fix the problem. Yeah, it's I, not, don't, yeah. I don't think that's true. I just don't think they have a viable solution that they think is politically viable. Perhaps, but I think my solution seems politically viable. People, I, I say, everyone I say this to, they go, oh, wow, you're right. Well, you are definitely right that they're lonely, sad people that are yes. lashing out. And I think you're definitely right that in many instances it's a public suicide. Yep. And I think you're definitely right that the vast majority of them are on psychotropic drugs, yep. which do have a disassociative uh, aspect to them where they're not even sure they're aware of what they're doing. 
This is if you well, talk to sure people that have been on those. Yeah. Well, uh, people that have been on yep. these things, things don't mean anything anymore. Right. Like a car accident in front of them doesn't mean anything. Yeah. People have various reactions to various SSRIs and antidepressants, sure. but one thing that happens is you lose the highs and lows, yeah. and everything is just flat. You become numb. Yes, and you become numb to almost anything yep. that happens. Absolutely. It, and again, it varies depending upon the individual that's on these things. Sure. Part of that would allow someone to do something horrific, which they wouldn't be able to before. Well, there's two things to remember here. One, I'm not concerned with being righteous. I'm concerned with happy New Yorkers and happy people. That's what I want. Righteousness is very low on my priority of things. So okay. if that doesn't sound – if what I'm saying sounds bad, I'm okay. I want to fix the problem. The second thing is I'm not a politician, which means I don't have I don't have a, a – a career I have to protect. I don't have interests I have to serve. The average donor is $75. So I don't have a bunch of people who are me huge checks. So I don't have that concern either. So maybe in four years I'll be corrupt and you can beat no, me up on the show. No, I don't think you're corrupt. I mean, I'm not saying that at all. Well, I don't even think they're corrupt. I mean, I'm sure many of them are. Sure. But I think that they just, there's things they don't feel like they can discuss politically. Mm -hmm. And I think one of those things is in any way demonizing people who are on yeah. antidepressants. Because a lot of There's people a are. There's a giant percentage of people yes, on antidepressants in this absolutely. country. Absolutely. Our, our opioid crisis is, is heavily based upon the idea that when you have pain of any type, physical, mental, the answer is not dealing with that pain, but the answer is a once a day pill. Right, medication. That, yes, that is the answer for all of our pain. And because of that, you have a lot of people who are on drugs, and you probably know a stat, about 80% of all the people who are currently heroin addicts, uh, somehow started on someone's, not even always theirs, but someone's prescription legal legal drug. I mean, that was prescribed for either pain medication or something right. like that, usually pain medication. Yeah. But other things too, you're totally correct, this is a problem. But what I'm saying is, this is what I, I talk about often. People say, Larry, you know, why should I vote for you? Why should I support you? Here's the reason why. Whether you believe I can win or not is actually irrelevant. If you think I can win, awesome, I can win, and to be forward with you, if I win in New York as libertarian, the entire nation changes overnight. And that's not exaggeration. The entire nation changes overnight. This is the most impactful election, hands down, the entire nation, 20